The Respect for Marriage Act is now law. This is a live look at the White House tonight where President Biden signed the measure to protect same-sex and interracial marriage earlier in the day. The legislation passed with bipartisan support, including from Iowa Senator Joni Ernst, but she is now facing criticism for her vote on the measure. An historic step in protecting same-sex and interracial marriages today. With the stroke of a pen, President Biden ensured federal recognition of marriage, regardless of sex, race, ethnicity, or national origin. Iowa legalized same-sex unions in 2009. Marriage is a simple proposition. Who do you love? And will you be loyal with that person you love? It's not more complicated than that. The Respect for Marriage Act represents a growing acceptance for same-sex unions in America. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst voted yes on the bill, but she faces backlash from fellow Republicans. Reports indicate several GOP county parties in Iowa have censured Ernst in recent weeks for supporting the bill. Ernst told reporters Monday, quote, I don't agree with the censure. I hope that more people will actually read the bill and understand we have just improved upon religious liberty protections, not just in Iowa, but across the United States. The Republican from Red Oak says the legislation applies to governments, not individuals. Lawmakers fast-tracked the bill on Capitol Hill after Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas called for marriage-related cases to be reconsidered. Advocates called the law a blow to hate in our country. With courage, fortitude, and unbreakable unity, we have achieved a landmark victory in the fight for full equality. And this is how Iowa's congressional delegation voted on the measure. Republican representatives Marionette Miller-Meeks and Ashley Hinson voted yes. Democrat Cindy Axney also voted yes. Republican Randy Feenstra voted no. Senator Chuck Grassley also opposed that legislation. Grassley said last month after his vote, interracial and same-sex marriages are not under threat. He also said the bill could put people with certain religious beliefs at legal risk.